Oh, there we go. What's this? Oh, what is it? All right, get in there, bud. There we go. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what is this? Holy moly. I don't think my car's supposed to sound like that. <laughs> well, all right. I don't know what's going on with the uh, the blue buggy, but something is uh, something steers not right. I think it's something to do with power steering. I don't know, but every time I come to Illinois, something breaks. Actually, matter of fact, this is not the only broken thing that I discovered today. My boat is having some issues right now. Like one of the hydraulic fuel hoses exploded for whatever reason i don't know how it happened but it legitimately exploded here's a picture of it um it got like so big it turned into a bubble and then eventually of course it it popped long story short can't wait to leave illinois because uh, it seems like every time i come here something goes bad but that's not what the focus of today's video is about today we're going to be fishing a pretty dope little spot it's actually a spillway that is uh connected to one of my favorite lakes i like to fish here in illinois i have got two rods with me a ultralight topwater and an ultralight finesse setup. We're just strictly going on a species mission today. I hope to catch some bass, but basically if anything bites my lure, I will be stoked. So I'm gonna grab these here two rods, some tackle, and we're gonna give it a good old solid rip. Stick with it, stay tuned, and as always, enjoy. Okay, here we go. Let's go get them. It's a little spot, but it's a pretty cool looking spot. It shouldn't take too long to fish. Wow, it's ripping. We had way more rain than I thought. It is coming out of this thing. Ooh, I already see some, oh, that's a little smallmouth right there. Oh wow, there's a ton of little fish. My chances of catching a nice one right now are pretty high with all of this rain. So I'm gonna start off with a, uh, I don't know, what am I gonna start off with? I don't know, let's just, let's, just go, let's just get in it. Okay, first cast, going in. Here we go. There's one. Oh yeah, ooh, it feels all right. First fish. Dude, this thing is pulling. What is it? Oh, he came off. What was that? I think it was a bluegill. That thing was fighting so hard. There's fish down here. I have no idea what that was. I'm really curious. Come on. Oh, I just got hit. Big bite. There he is. On again. Second cast, second fish. This thing is fighting good. What is this? Oh, wow. Oh, not a bad bluegill. First fish of the day. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice little bluegill. That thing's pretty healthy for a little creek like this. All right, get in there, bud. First catch of the day, nice little, just regular, ordinary bluegill. Got some really sick colors. I noticed when I caught that fish, he fought really hard, and I think that's probably because these gills and these bass in here are so used to fighting current all day long that they've just built up that muscle and that energy. That's a very hard fighting fish for a fish only that big. So confirmed, we've got bluegill in here. I pretty much assumed there was gonna be some bluegill. I still think there's some other stuff lurking here that is gonna surprise me today. From what I've heard, there are pike in this creek. There are possibly musky and walleye too, so. Thanks for playing, little guy. Oh, relax. Wow, dude, these bluegill go hard. Look at him. You're a fighter, aren't you? You're a little fighter. See you later, guy. There he goes. <laughs> Holy moly, dude. Like every cast, I'm getting bit. Still pretty dope, though. Thanks for chewing, little gilly. Meow. Nice dive, dude. 10 points on that one. I have a feeling that it's going to be tough to catch a whole lot of other species with these bluegill around. They're just so aggressive. Okay. Okay, what's this? Another bluegill. Oh my god. This one's pretty. He's got like a nice little yellow belly there. Oh god. Oh, he's good. He's good. We're fine. Oh, there's a little bass. We got a little bass. Oh my god, what is this? No, he came off. That was a little tiny bass. That would have been so sick to catch. Gills on gills on gills on gills on more gills. And then more gills. Ew. Big cast. Wow. As soon as that bait hit the water, I hooked up. So many freaking gills. Oh, f I had one. Oh, there we go. What's this? Oh, what is it? Smallmouth, no way, it's a smallie. So we did it, we caught a smallmouth. <laughs> Dude, check it out. I was really wanting to catch one of these guys today. Holy moly, such a cool fish. Nice little smallmouth, so cool that we caught one of these guys. Wow, look at him. 
there you go, second species of the day. One of the species that I really want to catch out of this tiny creek is a smallmouth. It's pretty uncommon for there to be creeks with a healthy population of smallmouth in Illinois, but this particular lake has pretty good smallmouth in it. So whenever that rain comes, these smallmouth follow the current because they're such current-oriented fish. And of course, they get sucked down through that little fish slide there. Totally harmless, it doesn't hurt them. They drop down in the creek, and then this is like their new domain, their new home. Here's something else that's really interesting, is I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but when I caught this little smallmouth, he was pretty much pale and completely bronze, but when I put him in the tank, he's now got these extremely dark patterns. Smallmouth, among a lot of other fish species, also change color when they're under stress. That's kind of like in layman's terms way to put it. I know there's probably more scientific way to explain why they look that way when they're put inside of a live well or a tank. He's like fully patterned out. I'm not gonna lie, I don't see small that tiny that often. And to get one to change his colors uh, that quickly is pretty dope. I, I've not seen one change colors that fast. Like with the bluegill, we're gonna put him back and send him on his way into the little creek. Thanks for playing, little dude. Such an epic fish. Look at that. So cool. And back he goes. It's kind of funny catching these guys in the miniature version. I'm so used to catching bigger small than that. It's neat to kind of hone in on the tinies because they're so pristine, they're so pretty, they've got like you know, no gashes or scars on them. They're like the perfect fish, essentially. I foresee us catching a largemouth today too, um, but I'm noticing that there's some deeper water at the end of this riffle, so I'm just gonna keep casting. We'll see what you can find. Oh, he's got a bite. He's on, fish on. What is it? What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Oh, new species, hell yes. Dude, this is sick. All right, let's put this guy in the tank too. The third fish and the third species that we caught today was this little green sunfish, very close related to the bluegill that we caught in the beginning of today's video. But also, it is in the same family as the smallmouths. It's a centrarchidae, which means, uh, you know, it's in the same family as like a crappie, a bluegill, a bass. They're all closely related. But uh, this guy's got a bigger mouth. They're oftentimes a little more aggressive than bluegill, and they're really pretty. They've got like these electric, uh, lightning blue stripes on their gills. Really cool fish, they get pretty big, and I catch them a lot whenever I bass fish because they've got such large mouths. Third fish species, I actually didn't think we'd catch one these days, so that's like the first surprise on today's creek mission. Come here, little guy. Look at little Jimmy. He's like, put me back. Oh God. <laughs> See you later, Jimmy. Take care. <laughs> Okay, so this next spot's a little bit risky. I'm at the same creek, different location right now, but it's right next to the super busy highway, and I can't really get down to water level, which means I'm gonna have to fish it from the bridge, and if I get anything big, it's gonna be, like I said, risky. So I'm gonna bring two rods, a little top water, and then a little worm. I'm gonna try to chase after something a little bigger here. I'm grabbing the top water and a little worm. I'm gonna fish it for like maybe five minutes. If it's no good, then we're moving out to the next zone. Gotta try it though, it looks really interesting. It's a little noisy, you'll just have to bear with the uh, traffic. But here it is, this is the creek. Wow, I just cast right into a tree. There we go, first cast. Oh, I just got bit. There we go. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what is this? Big green sunfish. <laughs> this is so cool, man. That's a big green sunfish, wow. Illinois traffic right on Algonquin Road, and I'm catching fish. How sick is this? All right, going for <laughs> going for the cannonball release on this one. Sorry, dude. Phew. Nice. Holy! I just have one. I've got one. No way. Another green sunny. This guy ate my little uh, cicada lure. That lure is huge compared to this fish. Green sunfish cranked the cicada lure. I just threw right on that bridge and he came up and ate it. Very dope. Can't say I've ever really done that before. That's like traditional, that's like full on roadside fishing for you. I can't even hear myself think with this traffic. But anyway, I caught two fish. Not too bad. Oh, turbo velocitor. I'm out of here. Let's go find one more spot and uh, wrap up today's video because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to rain today. So I'm gonna catch a few more out of this next spot and then we're gonna wrap up today's video. And there we go. Wow, look at that trunk. That is, that's filthy. That is just disgusting. Why did I, who did that? That is terrible. Whoa, this looks super sick. This looks mega fishy. Like mega fishy.
How's it going? Oh my god, you are Johnny. Hey, how's it going, man? What's your name? I'm Andrew. Andrew, nice to meet you. Oh god, I, that's the second fishing YouTuber that I met in person. No, who's the first? Right on. You catch any today? Really right. slow? That sucks. Usually it's pretty good in the summertime. It's small little kind of shy away from here, I noticed. Right, too much pressure. <laughs> so, wait, wait, it was really good hey, to you, nice meeting you too, man. So great chatting with you. Great Absolutely. stories. Hey, nice meeting nice you too. Meeting. Keep fishing the river, dude. So here comes the rain. Right on cue. It's rained every single day in Illinois. Every single day. What the hell else is new? I think that's going to do it for today's video. This rain is about to just... This is about to open up on me, so I'm gonna get out of here before it's too late. Briefly wanna say how cool it was that I got to meet some of you guys out on the river today. I ran across maybe five or six people on today's Creek Mission that watch my videos. Listen, I love comments, I love direct messages, I love when you guys interact with me on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and whatnot, but the face-to-face -face interaction is really what is so cool because I get to meet you guys in person and put a face to that name. Anyway, not gonna get sappy, but I think it's pretty awesome that I got to see some people that enjoy fishing and also the videos. If I saw you today, huge shout out to you. This little creek was super generous to me today. I think we racked up a total of four fish species, which isn't bad for a multi-species mission. I really appreciate the view. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so and be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed what you saw. I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never.